A lot of people get make fun of because they lift for girls. You know, you always don't want to admit to your friends that you're lifting for chicks, or you they, they call you out and say, you know, you're doing the curl for the girl. But I don't think there's anything wrong with training for to look aesthetic, to get the aesthetic pussy. Because um, recently I came across a book called only the beautiful survive and it's uh, it's a sort of a theory that's built on top of sexual selection and this theory states that uh, traits that make you more likely to survive isn't just some you know traits that should showcase your fitness or a trace that is useful specifically traits that are beautiful will get passed on and in nature there's so many things that are so beautiful and all the patterns of plants and animals and birds and there's so much beauty in nature that beauty must be what drives evolution. So he's saying that aesthetic, not randomness, is the driving force behind evolution. Put this idea together with Napoleon Hill's sexual transmutation where he argues that nothing stimulates the mind more than sex. He says that uh, the sexy image or the, the thought of you know sex would vibrate the mind and bring it to a higher frequency and than any other other stimulating life and that he said is the driving force of creativity. But the key here is of course what I've been talking about with the no fat. Preserve that energy. The stimulating of sex is so powerful that you don't want to waste it by directly express it physically through actual sex. Not yet anyway. Look at a lot of pictures of asses all you want. Look at porno, look at naked chicks before you go to the gym, but hold that energy, it's like preserve it. Let it, let the energy, let the vibration travel through your mind and through your body and express it through higher means like creativity, strength, and aesthetics of the mind and the body. And if you read Freud's uh, Civilization and His Discontent, he argues that uh, basically, Sex drives civilization. If there's no motivation to want to impress the opposite sex and impress the females, there would be no cathedrals built, there would be no wars fought, there would be no revolutions, there would be no poems written, novels, and symphonies, all that stuff at the bottom of it. The, the, the first stimulus, the first thing that triggers it all is the image of the ass. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.